it's 2015 and we wish bon anniversaire to the Catalan Dragons in their 10th Super League season. Eh bien, écoutez, c'est avec, euh, avec une immense fierté qu'on redémarre cette saison qui, qui après cinq semaines de vacances, eh bien, a, a fait plaisir un petit peu à tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, je crois que tout le monde attendait ce, 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 ce retrouver avec les joueurs. The Catalan club have added to their roster, importing the likes of Todd Carney and Willy Tonga to an already strong squad. How important is this season for the club, do you think, with the restructuring of how the league is done and the fact that Catalans have yet to make a grand final? Just how much emphasis is there on this year? Oh, the, that's the 10th season for the Dragons Catalan and uh, the board members made the effort uh, to, uh, to attract some great players like uh, Willy Tonga, um, they wanted Remy Casti to come back uh, from his original contract with the Roosters and they made the effort as well to attract uh, uh, such a player as um, Todd Carney. So uh, this season means a lot for the club um, and especially after the, the way we finished the season last season, we think with, uh, with that addition uh, we can do better. Uh, but it's up to us now to deliver it on the field. So far this season, the Dragons haven't been flying. A mixed start to the season, including a 40-all draw with Salford and a 50-20 defeat at the hands of Hull KR. This weekend, they're back in East Yorkshire to face Hull FC. They've got some uh, some very good players uh, in, the, in the team and, um, and in part particularly uh, Pricey. He's a great player when he's got the ball in his hands. So we, we all know what he can do. He did it with us for the last three years, but, but they got some players like Joe Westerman as well. Uh, they recruit uh, Mini Cello, who's doing a great job for them. So uh, it will be a tough, tough battle, like, uh, like he, he always uh, been uh, at the KC Stadium. So um, we want to bounce back especially defensively um, and, and it's a great challenge to do it uh, against LFC. For the last 10 years, the Dragons have been hamstrung by poor away form. Fine in France, but at times woeful on the road. We got the thoughts of a French journalist who's not missed a game in the last decade. I remember each time the Catan Dragons stay in England, uh, they lose the first match and they win uh, the second. Uh, very important. The last two matches are very difficult for the Catalans because uh, of the defense. Uh, so this day, they work very hardly. I saw this day uh, for the Catalans against a good session, training session. Uh, so I hope for them to be better. Not difficult to be better in defense eh? uh, this week for Catalan Dragons. It's Laurent Fresinu's task to get the Catalans deep into the end of season. He also has a job of keeping Todd Carney at the club, following speculation linking the half with a return to the NRL. I don't know whether you've seen them, but it is a small world, so I'll ask. The Manly Sea Eagles have been saying that they're very interested in Todd Carney. Are you confident that you can keep hold of him and keep him a Catalans player? We can say whatever we want, but at the moment, Toddy is contracted with us, he's enjoying He's fully with us, he's enjoying his lifestyle with us and I'm, I am really happy because he's on field and off field he is a, is a react as a leader and uh, so everybody can talk about what the, whatever they want but he's contracted with us and, uh, and, uh, and I want to keep him. Fresinu knows what it's like to represent the club on the field. He played in their 38-30 debut Super League win against the Wigan Warriors. Jones slides it in and Fraser New will score. My word, what a response. It's the Catalan Dragons who are breathing fire now. And it's Wigan who are rocked back. What can they do from here? Chan gets the ball away. Terrific hands. And what a try. Millwall can't believe it. Le Catalan will win on their opening night in Super League. It is a famous, famous night in Perpignan. His job this year as head coach 
is to get the Dragons to the grand final. They've got close in recent seasons, last year coming up just short against St. Helens. Hey, everybody wish. Yeah, it's my, my wish. Uh, I've just got to Old Trafford to see the final, uh, Super League final, but never for Catalan Dragons. Uh, yeah, it's a dream for everybody, and I wish this uh, with this team, but it's very, very long season. So if it's not uh, Old Trafford, why not to come back in Wembley? Just finally, do you think that this year could be the year of the Dragons? Do you think we could be sat here in October? Well, maybe not here. Maybe I can come and see you in the south of France. But we'll be sat here discussing a Challenge Cup victory, a, a grand final win. Is that possible? Yes, because to be honest, I, I, I believe in that group. I believe in that squad. And I believe we can win uh, against any opposition. But to do that, we have to be uh, better and we have to perform consistently, which at the moment, after five rounds, we, we couldn't do. So as soon as the momentum we come and we, uh, we perform consistently, I think we can uh, expect some, uh, some good, very good times. Will 2015 be the year of the dragon?